In this Revit tutorial, I want to talk about the offset command. We can find the offset command on the modify tab and then in the modify panel right here. The offset tool is very useful and can be used in a lot of different ways. Uh, one way it can be used is to simply basically make copies of uh, walls or things like that. So if I grab the offset tool, you'll see you have the option of putting in either graphical or numerical um, input. So I'll do numerical and I'll just change that to maybe say three feet. You also get to say if you want to make a copy of it or not. If you uncheck that, it will essentially move the object to where you've offset it um, in a way. Uh, but this would be better because I'd actually like to keep the original. So when I have offset picked, I have my distance of three feet. What I can do is pick the wall I'm interested in. And if I just hover over that and click, you'll see that it's basically made an exact copy of this wall on the other side. I could do the same thing here. And now I offset the central wall three feet the other way. Uh, just so you can see that, uh, if I go to annotate and picked in a pick an aligned dimension, uh, if I go from midpoint to midpoint on these, you'll see that it's exactly three feet in between each one. We can also use offset on um, you know, a variety of objects. This would include um, like curved walls or something like that. So this right here is just a corner that had a five foot radius on it. If I wanted to use offset on here, so I go to the modify panel, pick offset, what you'll see is it offsets the curve proportionally. So this can be oops, very useful. Instead of having to uh, you know, figure out what that radius should be or uh, something like that, you can just use offset and it will figure it out for you. Um, so those are just a few examples of using this tool, but uh, it's really quite useful.